हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वृशाली इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट ब्लैक बॉक्स एंड व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग विथ एग्जांपल्स आई हैव मेंशन कंप्लीट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट प्लेलिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ टेस्टिंग दैट इज यूनिट टेस्टिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिट टेस्टिंग व्हाई यूनिट टेस्टिंग देन एग्जांपल advantages and disadvantages of unit testing at the end we will discuss some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper let's see all these points one by one now the first thing is what exactly unit testing unit testing is a first level of testing in testing process of particular project see here in this image while developing a particular project unit testing is a first level after that integration system and acceptance testing will be performed basically unit testing perform on individual units or components of particular software now what exactly units see in your program you have to mention different functions methods procedures modules or objects right so unit testing perform on this all individual components basically every module of project check one by one in unit testing that's why which is also called as component testing this unit testing is used with white box testing techniques we already discussed white box testing in previous session basically unit testing is work on internal structure internal program and internal working of particular project this unit testing perform in coding phase or implementation phase of software development life cycle and which is performed by the software developers there are different unit testing tools are available in market like j unit n unit php unit etc this all tools are used by the tester to generate different types of test cases now the next point is why unit testing is necessary see due to unit testing tester understand correctness and accuracy of your code if there are any errors they easily make any changes quickly unit testing also test every functions and procedures mentioned in your program unit testing perform or find out errors at early stage of development that's why they save cost and money also see in particular project suppose there are total 3 modules so developer work on module 1 side by side they perform the testing then they perform module 2 also side by side they perform testing on each and every functions procedures and methods mentioned in particular program right then unit testing also help in documentation phase and also help with code reusability you can use same module same code with another project basically it makes faster and efficient software now unit testing also understand some object oriented context see in your program you have to declare different packages classes under that classes there are sub classes derived classes right you have to declare different functions methods then private public and protected attributes in your program so unit testing perform on this each and every components that every components will work properly or not now see here this is a example of unit testing see suppose there is a banking server under that banking server there are total 3 modules the first module is amount transfer second module is loan related and third module is sale related so basically unit testing perform on each and every module and their functionality individually suppose the first module is amount transfer module see here in this particular image in amount transfer module there is a first from account number then to account number and mention amount here after that there are two buttons that is transfer and cancel right so this is a amount transfer module and there are various components or the features now tester generate different types of test cases on this features and functionality of that module in unit testing how see here suppose there is a from account number and to account number okay so for transferring money purpose user need to enter valid account number only okay suppose they enter 1 2 3 4 so they will give the message account number accepted 
Suppose they enter 4300 and this is invalid account number. They will give you a particular error, right? Suppose user click directly on that transfer button. So at that time, they will show the error enter account number. Sometime user enter wrong account number or mention some alphanumeric value like A, B, C, D in this way. But account number always is in digits format, right? So at that time, they will give you error enter digits only. So this is called as test cases. They generate different types of test cases to test that a particular module is working properly or not. Same, similarly, there is a transfer button. Suppose user enter valid from account number and to account number and correct amount, then only transfer button is work, right? Otherwise, they will give you an error to enter account number or amount. The next thing is cancel button. When user click on cancel button, all data should be clear, right? So this is called as unit testing. Unit testing work on each and every module and their functionalities or components mentioned in your project. That's why they provide correctness or accuracy in output or the result. Now, the next point is advantages of unit testing. This unit testing also called as modular testing because they work on module by module and their functionalities. Here, developing team focus on each and every functionality mentioned on particular module and how this functionality should be work. Here, developer find out all the errors or bugs at early stage of development before they become larger and more difficult to fix. This is the main advantages of unit testing. Unit testing also ensure that the output or the result it check as per the customer requirements or not. So unit testing basically improve overall quality of your code or the software. Unit testing also enable developers to work faster and more efficiently. Now, the next thing is disadvantages of unit testing. See, unit testing work on each and every module and each and every functionality mentioned on that. That's why it requires more time and efforts to create and maintain different types of test cases. It is used for a smaller system, but it gets difficult for the complex system. Unit testing also work on individual units, not a complete product or the complete program. And unit testing require ongoing maintenance and updates. See, suppose customer requirements are changed. At that time, code, design, test cases also change, right? So that's why it require maintenance and updates every time. Now, as per your exam point of view, in previous year question paper, they have asked explain unit and integration testing with example. So at that time you have to mention the some theoretical approach of unit and integration testing with any suitable example for 8 marks. We will discuss integration testing in next session. This is all about. Thank you. Keep learning.